Today I am bringing you guys a very needed video. This is how to properly use the updated version of CubeJS mod. The biggest reason why I'm probably making this is because I did lots of research trying to figure out how to do it and the updated versions are not very good. I say updated like they're actually updated but they're not and this is probably going to be one of the easier videos I've made in a while and it does involve a little bit of coding but don't worry everything will be left down below so you guys can copy my template and then you can just change the words to what you want so let's say you're using curse forge i'm playing this mod here which is uh create all of create and it's fairly simple and this can be done in any mod pack or anything like this that is the right version this one right here is 1.19.2 and if you want to install the cube js mod into it just make sure you have that version um in some of the older videos people were talking about how to create your javascript and how to rename text files and it just doesn't work with the newer versions i don't know if it's just windows or what it is but the easiest way is actually i'm going to head and just close everything that we have down here just to show you what we're going to be doing so we're going to do this in curse forge but you can do this in any other route possible so with me i'm going to hit these little three dots here on your mod pack and go down to open folder and then this you'll have your minecraft folder for this specific mod pack now if you don't want to do it that way and you're using your own custom made folder um, from your own custom made mod pack not through curse forge chances are you have to hit the windows key plus r and then do percent app data percent and hit enter and then you want to find microsoft or minecraft yeah dot minecraft right here and then go down to mods or wherever you have your stuff saved it would, chances are it would probably be in this folder here but for me I'm going to go open folder. And if you look through here, you'll see a cube JS folder. This is basically where all the files are for that mod to so go ahead and click it. And then the ones we're going to be working with today, since we're just doing custom recipes is going to be server dot script or server scripts. And then right here is the recipe. So originally, whenever you first open up this mod pack, but the first time after running it, it'll say example in here. And I spent a long time trying to figure out why my recipes wasn't working. It's because in the video that the creator actually has and a lot of other people, they tell you to right click, click new and click uh, text. And then they want you to rename it whatever and then dot JS. That is not what we want to do here. That does not work anymore and I don't know why. So you want to take the example file that's here. It will say example, hit F2 or right click and rename it and not type in recipe. You don't need to put .js because it automatically is a JS file or JavaScript file. You don't need to change it. Just change the name and then you will probably run into an issue when you double click it. And it tells you that it's not usable. Well, you're going to need to install something like um, Notepad++ or you just use the Notepad in Windows. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can or do JavaScript or um, Microsoft Visual Studio. So that's what I'm using. I've already ran a couple of tests here, just trying some different things. So we're going to go through this a couple of times. We're going to dumb it down each time. Uh, but basically, you want to do the slash slash on event and then this code right here. If you guys don't want to sit here and type it out, I will have it down below. And then you want to just type out the rest of this. Now, let me explain what this is. The event shapeless is what's telling Minecraft that this is a shapeless recipe. I haven't messed with it too much to make it to where it's a certain shape. It is a little bit more difficult when you make it a shaped recipe very specifically. But if you just have simple crafting recipes where it's shapeless, this will work. Event shapeless and then in this or after this parenthesis, you want to do the create because I'm doing mine with create. It's the create and then semicolon and then what the name is in Minecraft. So if we look, when you're looking at this here, when you're hovering over an item that you need to know the name for, you can see at the bottom of the little text pop-up, it has the name. It says it's made from create. There's a semicolon and then there's the name belt underscore connector. That's what you want. And the same with Minecraft. It has the same thing with Minecraft. It'd be Minecraft, semicolon, and then the name. This one's diamonds. This one's cobblestone, of course, crafting underscore table. If you have more than one word, it's separated with uh, underscores. So in the visual studio, we have create semicolon belt underscore connector. 
that is the recipe or is that it? that is the name of the thing that you're going to be creating what you want your recipes output to be will be right here this is your recipes output and then what you want to use to craft this thing will be here so however many lines of things you make depends on what it's going to actually take so right now in my minecraft if I go into here and I put dried kelp and dried kelp, it's a mechanical belt. Instead of the original create mo uh, mod recipe that's like this, it's a lot less, just two for one of these. And that's because I have it depleted here that says it takes two. So if you do want to add more, so let's say you highlight this line of code, copy it, and hit enter, paste it again if I click save, or hold control and hit S. Go back into Minecraft, do slash reload, and you give it a second, it will lag. It'll say reloaded with no errors. That's just because it's reading the file as a JavaScript file, and then it will lag again. Go back into here and it should work, yeah. So it still has that recipe in there for some reason. I don't really know why, but it also works with three. Now, instead of just two or the full six, that's how you alter those ones. And then the same thing down here, if you ever want to add to your recipes, you want to keep making different recipes, you take from this top line here all the way down to this line here. So from the top very beginning of the word on line three, all the way to the last parenthesis on line seven and copy that. So we're going to go and hit enter which means we're on the same line, hit control V. And there's your new line of code. So what we're gonna do is backspace all that because we don't want that to be our recipe. I'm just gonna copy one of these lines so I don't have to type. We're gonna paste. So let's do a different one. Crafting tape, sure. So inside the parentheses, we still want it to be there. Minecraft crafting underscore table. And that's what the recipe is going to be. So we're going to take this one, copy it from each end, drop it down, paste it again. Now it's going to take two crafting tables to make whatever I want. So let's just see, is there any other crafting table in here? I don't really know. Yeah, so we like we have the crafting upgrade and that's made like this, but let's say it's too expensive for you and you want to change that for your thing. There's a really large word there. I don't know if I want to type all that. That's crazy. So let's say we want to make it easier for ourselves. We're going to take a screenshot while hovering, exit out of that. We're going to open it up, right click, or we can actually just keep that if you want to. Move it off to your other screen and we're going to type in that name. So the ID was S-O-P-H-I-S-T-I-C, so sophisticated upgrade you got to make sure you have the spelling right i'm just going to send it in chat for later so what i want this to craft will be inside of here inside of this one actually my bad yeah right there paste that there and it's going to make the sophisticated storage crafting upgrade and it's going to take two crafting tables to do this now if you hit Control s make sure i did all my stuff right quick do slash reload and we're going to let it reload because there's no errors because it read the file properly now you'll see everything start to lag and start to have issues we're back up to 400 fps and we should be good so if we take two crafting tables there we go it takes two crafting tables to now craft the crafting upgrade and you can do that there and that is how you keep adding other recipes so you want the beginning of the word event shapeless you want the beginning of that all the way down to the closed square bracket i can't think of the name right now and the other parenthesis all the way down here what i have highlighted right now is what you want to take every single time you make a different crafting recipe and you can put this all inside that one file you copy that you come down to the bottom of this parenthesis and hit enter then you hit Control v to paste it and then you change out the names of the items that you want to use down here wherever you're putting it you change the names of the things you're wanting to use to craft and change the names of the things you're wanting to actually end up crafting or the output of the recipe.
So I found something while recording this that I apparently didn't realize was a thing. It's actually a website with a lot of information, but no matter how much I look on YouTube, there's still no information on how to use this stuff. So I guess this is a good video to make, even though there's a website, because you guys can choose to watch this instead of reading a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that was the basic beginning intro of how to craft the recipes or how to make the recipes. We'll be making more videos on how to do other versions and other different things and how to actually get stuff to work. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.